Hello everybody, this is out of the box unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you this um, ratchet with universal socket or rather to say this universal socket is the purpose of this review movie so uh, without further ado uh, fast unboxing as you may see Uh, it's it's one ratchet with universal socket about basic features here we have it length approximately 200 millimeters uh, and they are claiming that it's suitable for um, for um, for for bolts from 8 up to 21 millimeter sockets um, I do not have a 8, maybe 8 it is, if I, actually I think it is, maybe 10, and this is something like 14, uh, okay, they're claiming it's from Germany, but it's made in Taiwan, okay, let's, let's test it, before you say, uh, I should use some steel framing. This is what I have, first of all. Second, and most important, in wood. Wood will um, provide some uh, of resistance. So, uh, by screwing it into the wood, I will apply greater force. Yeah, nothing is losing. I, nothing is loose. Okay, the maximum dip, dip is oh, how to how to show it. Oh, this is maximum. So three times the height of this head, something like that. And. First of all, I'm a little bit sceptic. I was from the from the very beginning, but now I can rotate it with my hands. You can see I can rotate it. Let's see how it will be with. Huh. Okay. Maybe when it's on the side, it's better, but the tilting position will not be so good. Okay, let's try it. The ratchet is rather standard. Chromium vadanium steel, which should be okay. The same this ratchet. Okay. Let's start with smaller one. Hmm? Actually it's turning. But when we, we need some greater force problems start to appear I'm able to screw it down but please see this how not stable it is Okay, let's try another one, the bigger one. Ow, 
I will put it on the in the middle and in the middle there is a huge problem you can see I, I cannot do it when I put it on the side it's sitting nicely and tightly no problem but in the middle no way no way so the best is to put it in the corner no but it oh. but it's it's causing because I'm offset and it really uh, yeah okay let's no, now I will twist it off. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a nightmare. I have to admit it's a nightmare. And please, uh, can you see how I'm ter uh, how how I'm uh, trying to, 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 to unscrew it? I'm not using the ratchet, I'm rather keeping it in the middle. Okay, you can, in this way you can uh, twist off or twist uh, very loose screws, but when you need to apply some force, uh, actually you know the summary. My summary and my recommendation is don't buy it, invest some money in the uh, in, in real sockets to design to dimensions instead of buying such universal one it's not doing the job really and by the way sooner or later those springs that are behind will will give up but first of all even by uh, in my hands, I can twist it. Only solution is to keep it on the side and then turn it. But when you are when you have those screws on the side, really, um, uh, it's not helping you to uh, give some momentum to that. Okay, so my recommendation is negative. It's waste of money in my opinion. But if you like it, you can buy it. Okay, thank you for watching, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.